Take a look around the pickup truck market and you'll find a familiar theme among all the brands. You're gonna have cheap work trucks, decent looking middle class trucks, some off-road trucks, some stupid expensive performance off-road trucks, and of course, stupid expensive luxury trucks. Ford's F-150 Limited will set you back at least $78,000 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate goes for a whopping $82,000. And then when you come to the last of the big three, Rams Limited 1500 is a measly $64,000. But what if I told you Ram is cooking up a new model that'll be stupid expensive, super luxurious, and will sit in the price gap Ram has created with the TRX? Talking with various sources over the last few weeks, mainly about Dodge, I had some pretty good information from a couple different places. But before I get into that, I just wanna say that if you're a fan of the three liter V6 diesel and Ram's 1500 lineup, you better go ahead and order one because people have been telling me that it will be discontinued early in 2023. Also, there will be some changes coming to the exterior Ram truck in 2023. I'm not gonna say exactly what it is, because I don't want to get my sources in trouble, but it's basically a feature on the back of four trucks that Ram doesn't currently have. And me personally, I'm waiting until Ram introduces this new model before I go put my order in for my next TRX, because this feature is something that could make its way to that vehicle. But like I said earlier, Ram is planning to introduce a new luxury truck that sits above the Ram Limited. Now, the TRX back in 2020 had a starting price of $69,000 when the order banks opened up. Now fast forward to 2022, the same truck now costs over $80,000, $11,000 price increase in two model years, while the other trucks, especially the Limited, have barely gone up in price. Ram has created a nice price gap in the lineup in order to insert a new high dollar trim. If you look at Ram's current lineup, there is no other truck in their lineup that has a greater than an $8,000 price difference between them except for the one that Ram created over the last few months, tacking on $11,000 in around a time period of 18 months. Because it wasn't until March 2021, after I picked up my TRX, that Ram started to slowly jack up the TRX price. And now there is a whopping $17,000 price gap between the Limited and the TRX. That's double the $8,000 price gap that Ram has on every other truck in their lineup. Stellantis has been pushing all US brands to make more and more expensive models. Just look how crazy expensive it is to own a Jeep right now. And the funny part is, they're about to wipe out V8s from their lineup and replace it with cheap Hurricanes to get even more profit margins. We all know Stellantis will not lower the cost of these six cylinder engine vehicles, even though you hear Dodge crying about V8 compliance costs. With Ford and GMC customers buying their limited and Sierra Denali high dollar trims, why wouldn't Ram want to get in the 80K luxury truck action? But Ram's problem is the TRX. What idiot would spend almost 80K base price for a slower luxury truck compared to a $70,000 702 horsepower TRX that already has one of the best luxury interiors that you can get already? And so this explains logically why the TRX price has been on a march the last 18 months. So this new luxury trim, from what I hear, will target the Sierra Denali and the F-150 Limited, and will probably be somewhere in the mid $70,000 range that those trucks are in. This Sierra Denali starts off at $62,000, pretty much right there where the Limited starts at now, but then the Denali Ultimate is $82,000. So this new Ram Limited Elite, or whatever they want to call it, will probably be somewhere in the middle. Fun fact, I did not know that GMC called the Denali Ultimate's grill the Denali Vader Chrome Grill. I mean, do they have to give Star Wars a kickback for using the Vader name? I would think Black Chrome would explain the color pretty well on its grill. But this Ram luxury truck, I actually heard about it earlier this year, and I forgot to do a video about it, but this truck has been in the works for a while. If you checked out Ralph Jilla's Instagram back in May of this year, you notice this picture that he posted. He says, in this caption, there is so much stuff to design. 
There shouldn't be that much design since as far as we know, no big change will happen for a 2023 model year other than the digital instrument cluster. And it is suspected around 2025 will be the year we see major changes to the Ram 1500 line. That was a date we got from Ram during EV day that said they will have electrification options starting around 2025 into most of their lineup. And in 2024, with full knowledge of what our competitors are doing, we will surpass their offerings with the Ram 1500 battery electric vehicle built to again redefine the full size segment. In summary, we are not following in the footsteps of our competitors. Our plan is on track to start production on the class shattering Ram 1500 battery electric vehicle in 2024. And as the only dedicated truck and van brand, Ram will offer a fully electrified solution in the majority of our segments by 2025 and a full portfolio of electric solutions for all of our segments no later than 2030. And even the Ram CEO said that the TRX would stay the same in 2024. So we are still a little while away before big changes are coming to Ram. The Ram CEO also said that they would reveal some information about the hair duty trucks at the Texas State Fair. That starts on September 30th, and then the Ram Revolution EV truck is coming in November. I should say Ram Revolution concept truck. It seems like everyone else is revealing vehicles that will go on sale, but for some reason, Ram and Dodge wants to show concept vehicles when 2024 is less than 15 months away and they're supposed to have production models on sale. Just saying. But that's what we should see over the next few weeks. But as far as the new luxury trim, I've heard that next year is when we should expect it. Ram just introduced the limited elite edition. It looks like the exact same package as the 10th anniversary edition. Maybe Ram didn't sell as many 10th anniversary editions as they thought they would, so they had some packages left over and they just rolled it over for 2023. But my guess with this new trim that Ram's gonna bring out is that it will be like the Denali Ultimate and be loaded down with like everything that you can buy on a limited Ram. You can pretty much spec out a loaded Ram limited around $77,000, which will put you right there at the starting price of Ford's limited F-150. But I would expect with Ralph Jilla's photo from earlier this year that his new trim will get some new seat materials and some other visual upgrades to justify the price. And like I said earlier, there will be some new tech that may spread to the other models. Now the biggest hint I gave you guys is that it's on the back and it is coming next year. That's pretty much all I know for now about this vehicle that I can discuss. Like I said, I don't reveal too much information so sources within the company won't get in trouble. If any of you guys that work for the big three, no matter if it's Ford, Chevy, and Stellantis, hit me up. Just don't post any comments on my videos. I know management for Ram be watching them. And if you want to message me on my social media or my email, my contact info is in the description of all my videos. I would love to get some insight into the other brands, especially for the Hummer EV that I got reserved, the Z06 I'm on the list for, and I'm pretty sure I'll order a Dark Horse Mustang. I like having a vehicle of each brand. It keeps everything fresh. This new luxury Ram truck on the other hand, I'm not that interested in. I just want another TRX. I don't care how luxurious this new Elite Limited is, nothing can replace 702 horsepower in a pickup truck. I just wish the Ram had the balls and really the other brands to make street trucks again with big V8 engines. Trucks are becoming sedan replacements and they're going to spend majority of their life on pavement. So why not make street trucks? I promise you, if Ram took the Limited and put a Hellcat in it, got rid of the air suspension, people will buy it and say F you to the Denali Ultimate and the F-150 Limited. Ram could sell a Limited TRX easily for $75,000. Put some 22s on it, that way you can get 140 mile top speed because of higher speed rate of tires, lower it down a couple inches, and give me massaging chairs, and that truck would sell like hotcakes. And all those dudes who love putting skinny tires or off-road trucks will have a street truck that they can mess up instead of the TRX. Just saying. But that's it for this video. Remember, like I said, HD Truck News is coming on September 30th. The Ram Revolution concept truck, that's coming in November. And news just broke about a new mid-size truck that Ram is saying that they'll show the dealers sometime around March of next year. I'm going to do a video on that, but I'll go ahead and tell you guys that that truck won't be a Dakota. Once I get some more Ram news, I'll make sure I let you guys know. 
Also, I have some merch downloaded into my YouTube store. If you want to support the channel and support my Ice Defiance merch, you should see it below in this video or in the shopping tab on my channel page. I'll leave a link in the description as well so you can get to it. And as always, until the next video, I'm out.